Hi and welcome back to the Titanic build. In this episode I'll be starting some of the actual modelling part of the build and piecing together the aft well deck. The first thing to do was to replace some of the kit doors with photo etch doors from the KA set. I find using a mixture of tools like a small chisel, a knife and a file uh, and also a bit of sandpaper to be the easiest way to remove the doors without damaging the rest of the wall. The KA doors need to be glued and folded. This also gives you the option of cutting the door frames in and having the door open here and there, uh, which makes it easier to see into the model. In hindsight, I would have probably opened the door on the aft well deck so that you could see into the um, second class uh, enclosed promenade. Um, but at the time of building this section, I wasn't aware that Neil at uh, Woody's Model Works uh, makes a set for it. Next, I started piecing together the bulwarks that fit on the walls of the well deck. There are a couple of panels and a few anchor points uh, and brackets which need to be built before fixing them to the bulwarks. Uh, and however, I won't be installing mine yet because I need to know that the model is at a point where decks can start being fixed in place. Um, this is because in removing the aft well deck and the poop deck, which are going to be fixed together, I have to slide them forward, um, which means they catch on the bulwarks. So I would have to remove the bulwarks before the decks if I ever need to work on the motors or the rudder, for example.
The next thing I did was to prep all the pieces of deck furniture. Uh, I primed them with Badger Styling Res Primer uh, in grey. And I used uh, a few different colours like scale colours, white and green for the walls and machinery. Uh, for the orangey sort of brown dark mask colour as it's known. Uh, for the lower half of the walls I used orange rust from Vallejo. Um, it looks quite orange in the video but it's actually a lot darker in real life. For the various bollards I used uh, Vallejo NATO Black and I also used Neutral Grey for the concrete bases that all the machinery sits on. I forgot to film the paint of the, the tops of the hatch covers, although I used a off-white from Vallejo with a touch of neutral grey. I'm showing this post because I missed that it has a base before painting. I built it in situ now so I could get it straight without getting glue on the decking, but also I added two other posts in which are missing from the kit. By drilling the positions for the posts now, I know that when the decks are down they'll be in the correct place. All I needed to do was drill back through the holes when the decks are down. I also wanted to use scale decks wooden decking because in my opinion it's the most realistic looking uh, but the KA set does come with its own decks um, which help things line up a lot better with the wooden markings like around the cap stands etc. The scale decks isn't 100% compatible with the KA set um, but I'll work through those problems when, as and when I get to them. To fix the scale decks I'm using Gorilla wood glue and spreading it out so it's not too thick. Once it's in place and smoothed out, I'll clamp it down and leave it for another day, which is when I'll start fixing the deck furniture in place.
I'm not going to fix the other hatch cover in place just yet until the decks are fixed permanently. This is so that I don't have the hatch cover in the wrong place if the decks need to move at all. I also didn't show whatever that item is in the centre of the world that being fixed um, because it, my hands were just in the way for most of it. Um, but as you might have noticed, the poop deck is also done, so I'll be starting that video shortly. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.